We as believers are mocked for our faith. To those that have not experienced the love of God, to those that have not experienced the salvation that Christ offers, the message of the cross is foolishness. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 8 10. And so this morning, even as we prepare our hearts to listen to God's word, I will share with you a poetry piece titled Foolishness. And I hope that the Lord will speak to your hearts. <clears throat> can, can we talk about it? Sh should we talk about it? Of course we should. Well, let's talk about it. <clears throat> the victims of foolishness are very protective of her disobedience sin was an offspring maturing giving birth to death and they still try to protect Eve to a wrong conversation she gave tolerance which is the source of her being effective an invitation of foolishness was accepted by Adam hence the consequence did not only affect Eve. From there it begun the hereditary cycle of a disease called foolishness, which is the title. Foolishness is so foolish it fools you into believing what you are experiencing is not foolishness. Foolishness is so foolish it fools you into believing what you are experiencing is not foolishness. The subtraction of man's fall, perfect are all the things that he makes. Since I am among fallen creation, it doesn't matter what I do, at least for church I spare a few minutes. I do not even commit big sins, I mean, I am not a killer. And according to the Bible, everyone is a sinner. To this, I will need some witnesses. I only have worldly fun, flirting, smoking, drinking, and taking alcohol. Oh. God loves us all. There is no such thing as eternal doom. Even with my imperfections for me, in heaven, there is room foolishness foolishness fools you into believing what you are experiencing is not foolishness foolishness is so foolish it fools you into believing what you are experiencing is not foolishness for some even after being set free from sin the foolishness remains this is what happens when from the presence of God one refrains thinking it is by human effort that one attains through this a foothold in your life is what the enemy obtains blurring your sight such that you don't see the role that you play in the body as a leaf others want solid food when they do not even have milk teeth as a tree the water table in the word of God your roots have not yet reached and you want to minister to masses making me wonder what will be preached foolishness foolishness is so foolish it fools you into believing what you are experiencing is not foolishness foolishness is so foolish it fools you into believing what you are experiencing is not foolishness 
Well, here is foolishness. The only one of its kind in existence, which is not a disease. The foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom. We can never measure its extent, size, or length. God chose the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. His foolishness is nothing but wisdom in disguise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. If you are wise according to worldly wisdom to you, this sounds wrong. God coming to earth through a virgin birth is foolishness. A king being placed in a manger after his birth is foolishness. Him being raised by a carpenter is foolishness. Him choosing 12 uneducated men to preach the gospel is foolishness. Him claiming to have overcome all the evil in the world by dying on a tree is foolishness. Him claiming that one day we shall be united with him in eternal bliss is foolishness. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God that we are cherishing. Amen. Thank you.